and I'm a sixth grade science teacher at Creighton Middle School. Um, I just wanted to take a few minutes right at the beginning to introduce myself. Um, this is my 39th year teaching. I started out in elementary school and then moved right on to middle school when my middle child was going to be at Creighton. I have enjoyed teaching middle school so much. It was a change from elementary, but I, I sure enjoy getting to know the students and ready to make our year strong and successful. I do want to share that in our class notebook, a section through teams to start us off that goes over the course requirements. Please make sure that you're familiar with the course requirements and so are your children. The units of study that we will be covering this year in science, first nine weeks, energy and simple machines. Second nine weeks, we will be doing weather and atmosphere. Third nine weeks, we will be doing plants and protists. And fourth nine weeks, we will be doing animals. Now I want to back up a little bit and make sure that everybody's on board when we talk about our classroom procedures. I know it's virtual, but we all need to be on board with meeting the expectations. Camera on and mic off. That's how we need to start every one of our classes. We also need to make sure that your workspace is workspace ready. You need to make sure all the supplies that you need are right here in handy. That would include paper pencil, using whatever organization method you want, paper pencil in a folder, paper pencil in a binder, or you might prefer to use a composition book. And yes, of course, you need a charged laptop or your charger handy. We are using a science workbook as part of our materials that are necessary to have on hand when we go through our science lessons. Now, when we move into the teams part, the teams part includes several different tabs up by the general channel. You need to make sure and your child needs to make sure that they are familiar with the class notebook. In the class notebook, science teachers have posted all the notes that you will be needing for our units of study. Also, when you go into the class notebook, your child needs to click on their name so they can edit and fill in and answer questions and dissect the information in that class notebook. You will also see up at the top where it says a post. When I post an assignment, it will show up at post and it will also show up as an assignment. You need to understand that your child will have a weekly science homework sheet that will be posted, will be put in assignments every Monday. It will be due by 830 on Friday. These questions can be answered by looking up information in your workbook and in your class notebook. They also will be able to be answered by classroom discussions because we will be using paper pencil to take notes and draw diagrams. As we move through this too, I want to remind everybody that each class has a day of focus for RTI. So if your child ever has a question, they can send a chat, whether it's their day or not, to get help and assistance with either from classwork or homework during that RTI window. A block is Monday, B block is Tuesday, C block is Wednesday, and D block is Thursday. But again, please chat me if you have any concerns. We do have tests every other Friday, and tests fall under our summative bracket when it comes to making up your grades. That's 50% for your grade on your report card comes from your big summative test. The other 50% comes from formative. Now, if your child makes below a 70 on a summative, they need to make sure that they're getting in touch with me so we can work out an opportunity for a redo. Your child will have three opportunities per class each nine weeks. 
I also want to stress that parents and students both need to be checking grades in power school. This is a way you can see and you can communicate with me by email or a chat. Any grades that are concerned or any grades that we need to go back and review so that there won't be anybody caught off guard at the end of a nine weeks. Attendance is taken daily. And it's very important virtual or face to face. You need to be present in the present. And you need to be logged on to that meeting right at the beginning so that I can take the attendance and you will be counted here. If you see that you have been counted absent, please contact the main office and they'll get you in with the attendance office so that you can take care of that. Once I have submitted the attendance for that day, I can't change it. If you end up with any tech questions, please call the school, go through the main office and let them hear your concerns. If a camera does not work or if the mic is not working, please let them know. Keep in mind that we will be using quizzes and gizmo and our online textbook. The, all of this information can be found in your child's class notebook in getting ready to learn. It goes through all this information. The good thing is your class work, your workbook can be used for you to draw in, write in, color in, circle main ideas, fill in the questions, and it is the same content as it's found in your online textbook. I'm real excited about this year. I want you please to get in touch with me through email or a chat if there's ever anything I can do. I know it's going to be a great 2020 2021 year and I um, look forward to seeing everybody face to face when the time is ready and we're all going to be safe and healthy. So please take care. <laughs>